So last night I wanted to find out how long, long I could run my furnace using a EcoFlow Delta 2 Max with a capacity of 2,048 watt hours. Uh, a couple things that are going to vary in your house. It's probably not going to be the same size. Um, but in this example, I have a 1,600 square foot home. Um, let's get to it find out how long it's going to last. Now the furnace is not going to run once the thermostat um, setting is reached. In this case it's going to be 68 degrees. If you're interested in the EcoFlow power stations, I'll leave a link in the description box. Now a couple of years ago I installed this outlet so that I could plug in my furnace to a generator or a power station like we're using today or my car. I'll leave that video link in the top right hand corner here if you want to check it out. Yeah, I'm starting this experiment at 6.39 p.m. Current temperature is 53. The overnight low tonight is forecasted to be about 40. So if it was 30 degrees cooler I would expect the results from this test to be a little bit different. So with just the fan running it's pulling about 121 watts and you saw a big surge right there to over a thousand. That's when the blower came on. And a normal operating wattage is going to be around 480, 887. Okay it's about 1045 so I'm four hours in current temperature is about 45. Alright, it's about 1 o'clock in the morning. I think I'm going to go to bed and check it when I get up. Alright, it's 10 o'clock in the morning. Down to 38%. Uh, the low last night was 40 degrees. Alright, it's 1 o'clock in the afternoon. 33%. Okay, it's about 430. We're at 28%. Well, 630. So it's been 24 hours. And we got what was that? 26% left. Alright, well it's 9.15, got 23% battery left, so I'm going to do some quick calculations. So I ended the experiment at 9.15 um, with 23% of the battery life left. So my battery capacity was 2,048 watt hours times 0.77 means that I use 1576.96 uh, watts. I take that and divide it by the 26.5 hours that gives me a consumption rate of 59.5 watts per hour. And I had 471 watt hours left. So if I take the 471 divided by 59.5 that means at the current rate of consumption it would run for another 7.915 hours um, but I think the rate of consumption is going to go up because it's getting colder than it was last night it's currently 40 degrees the forecast low over the next eight hours is supposed to get down to 34 degrees so let's say that jumped to 85 watts per hour that would leave me 5.5 hours so that would put the, the time of day where my battery finally died at around 2 30 ish and I'm not going to stay up till 2 30 in the morning waiting for the battery to reach zero so if I take the five and a half hours and the 26 and a half
that means that uh, battery lasted 32 hours. Uh, not bad for a power outage if you had 32 hours of heat and the rest of your neighbors were freezing their butts off. But I didn't have any solar hooked up to that. I didn't recharge it. Um, I just wanted to see what the battery would do.